Hi everybody, my name is Eric and today I would like to show you quickly how to use this blood detection test kit. So this is our non-toxic reference sample which trains the user's eye to what the color of lead would look like if it is contacted with the solution which either comes in a spray bottle or in a drip bottle. It comes with this ultraviolet light which induces a fluorescence. So here we have some suspected lead paint. So the first step would be using the card, training my eye to this color. The second step is to use the flashlight on the surface. I don't see any fluorescence here. So let's start off by just using the drip tip. So going over here. So you can see there is green forming there and all this lead is different concentration. So I think you'll be able to see good variation. So you can see this piece is the most concentrated. This is lower concentration. This test kit goes down to 500 parts per million, and that's 10 times lower than the limit of 5,000. So while this can't be used to comply with the RRP rule or do a technical lead inspection, because the lead inspections only identify lead-based paint as defined in 1992 as 5,000 parts per million or one milligram per square centimeter, this test will, in fact, test much lower. And I'd like to go down to the floor, and we'll see if we can find any particulate of lead. And this is something really unique to this test kit. So we'll just look at the floor here. We see there's no fluorescence of any of the paint on the floor. And uh, like right there, for example, you can see pretty clearly some uh, glowing. We'll do it again over here, see if we get more lead. Yeah, there's a couple pieces right here which weren't visible before. So this is a really good tool to identify lead either on the wall or in a degraded format. So if there's chips on the floor, you can presumptively identify them for a really low cost. It doesn't work so well in very wet conditions, but typically that's not where we are really looking for lead. It's normally in houses, on objects. There's no false positives and it is uh, water soluble. Cleanup is very easy. Um, don't touch the glowing lead because it is toxic, obviously. Um, and that's all. So let me know if you want any more information. And thanks for taking the time to watch this.